Welcome to the first day of the last test here in Bahrain and as Sergio Perez carries out his media duties after a great day in the car for him in the Force India, this is really team's last chance to try their upgrades before Australia. But for some teams, they just had to try and get in as many laps as they could with what they had. Cooling issues again interrupted Red Bull's day, just 39 laps completed by Daniel Ricciardo and still four and a half seconds off the pace Nico Rosberg set last week. Fastest on day one, though, was Sergio Perez in the Force India, who also managed a race simulation. But it was Valtteri Bottas who managed the most laps in the Williams that continues to impress. Electrical issues truncated Kimi Raikkonen's day, but Ferrari did try out their new front wing. And Mercedes carried out some aero testing, but were forced to finish early. Today, not, not a fantastic day. Um, it's okay, you know, we still made a lot of progress, a lot of laps and things, but we had a few new things that came and, and they didn't work 100%, so I had to dig through them, you know, and get them working. And then in the afternoon, a uh, small problem stopped the, stopped the driving a bit early. So that was a bit of a pity. Um, but good that it was so hot today, because again, you know, that, that allows you to discover new problems and, uh, and helps us sort out reliability and get ready for Melbourne. Do you really feel that you're far ahead of other teams? We look at the timesheets and how many laps you're able to do, but do you feel, when you look at the car and look at other cars, do you feel you're that far ahead? No, I don't feel we're that far ahead. I feel that we're in a decent uh, position starting off now. But, you know, everybody has problems and we have problems too, yeah. And, and it's, it's going to be a massive challenge for everybody and for us too to get the car reliable for Melbourne. There's like three test days to go and still the car is stopping on track, you know, with this and that and it's a huge challenge. You've said, been quoted as saying you want the car to be bulletproof by the time you get to Melbourne. How far off that do you think you are? Well, so some way off, yes, so we need to maximise these days and then really focus, you know, on, on trying to sort out the reliability. You've been made favourites by Christian Horner, among others, at the moment. Do you feel a pressure there, or is it exciting for you? Um, no, I, I don't feel the pressure. I've, uh, I'm optimistic, and I hope that we can do better than last year. You know, that's always been our goal. And I don't know uh, if we're going towards that direction at the moment, because it's always difficult to compare lap times. But generally, uh, I'm optimistic. It was uh, definitely the morning was, was much better for us. Um, got some you know a little bit longer runs as well in there and uh, at least you know for me behind the wheel that was the best let's say I've felt you know the, the package seemed to be all coming together a bit better now so obviously we still had some some issues but at least when the car was on track I think it was much more useful running for us today so that's that was a positive definitely and then what happened in the afternoon yeah we pretty much similar to, to last week so a few, uh, let's say, mechanical issues, which, which obviously put a, put a stop to most of our running this afternoon. Um, yeah, uh, we'll see. Hopefully, you know, tomorrow we, we can get more, but at least uh, a bit of progress this morning. So, as I said, you know, it's, it's, it's getting there. Still would love to keep going, but uh, obviously now at least, uh, you know, Seb's got two days after me. I'm not the last one this week, so... I think we'll, we'll be looking pretty good for the, for the next three days. Performance-wise, we still don't really know. Um, obviously, the lap times are still quite spread out, but, uh, you know, different tyres, fuel loads, all that. And, uh, yeah, we've still got a bit more to learn before we really start doing some performance runs. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll see in Melbourne. Checo, top of the timesheets, and got in the most laps today. Has it been a pretty good day for you in the car? Yeah, I think we've done a great step today. Uh, we really needed uh, a day like this, especially because I've been having so many troubles in the last couple of days. Today has been a, a fantastic day in terms of, of work, in terms of learning. I, I'm very happy with the day. I think the team has done a, done a great job because we move forward big time. So, so tomorrow my last day on the car before Melbourne, so hopefully we can have uh, a better day and then we will be in a very good shape for Melbourne. We saw you do a practice start and there was a strange trajectory. How difficult is it dealing with this extra torque in the car? Oh, it's a, we, I mean, the start is the same procedure. It doesn't change so much as before. You do feel the torque a lot. It's a lot nicer, the start, if you get the grip. But it, it was just a problem with the, with the selections and with the electronics that um, it, I couldn't select the, the right map. And in terms of, of where you feel the team are at at the moment, we've spoken to Bob and, and we know that you guys really want to push this year and get in amongst the McLarens and the Red Bulls. Do you think that's realistic now, seeing where you're at least going to start the season? Well, it's really no, no idea. I mean, that's our target. The team is working really hard and uh, 
and we should have big targets because everything is possible. And uh, I think we don't know where we are, but I'm, I'm comfortable. I think we are in a not too bad position. And just finally for me, what did you learn today that you didn't know previously for today's test? Well, I love about the car, uh, how it performs the car, where, about the tools, how we can manage the torque. The difference, you have so many different maps that you have to dial into uh, on the braking, brake balance, so many things that uh, you have to learn and, and before I couldn't, I couldn't do much on the car. Obviously uh, it's all new car and uh, from team to team always a bit difficult first to, to get a good feeling on certain things and set up but we are getting there little by little and uh, I'm, I'm sure we would like to do a bit more more laps, but I mean, that's how it is always in a test, and um, we try to make the best out of it. How much progress has the team made on um, drivability on the car, sort of calming the car down on power? Um, I think it's a lot since we started, but obviously there's always uh, always um, places to improve, and uh, that's what we're looking for, but uh, it's, it's not too bad, really. I think it's more to get uh, what I what I feel I like it and what I, I need, but it's a bit difficult to know or know sometimes, and with all the new rules, it makes it a bit more tricky to to find the right right things for Danny. But is the car reliable, at least? Um, it looks obviously we have some small issues, but I think everybody has, and uh, and it's not too bad. A bit more more problem. Maybe today uh, was uh, bigger, a bit with the engine size. But uh, yeah, it's what we have at the moment. We need to keep working. You know, it's still too early to determine something. For sure, at the moment, we didn't run enough uh, to say uh, something about the car, about the team. But uh, we are working in a good direction, and I hope to have uh, all the solutions as soon as possible. How worrying is it, though, to have a situation like you had today with, with an exhaust cracking at this stage when you really need to be doing race simulation? Uh, for sure it's difficult, but uh, yeah, again, it's what, what we have, you know, we can't change. Uh, we need to, to be focused in the future, tomorrow will be another day. Uh, I hope to, to solve all of the problems, to change the approach uh, for, for tomorrow uh, day. And even the plan, uh, I think tomorrow will be important to do uh, as much laps as possible for us. And even in, in, the, in the next uh, two days with uh, Roma. And just finally, what about the potential of the car? Because last week you managed to post the fastest lap of a Renault-powered car. Do you think the car still has the potential to be the quickest Renault? I think uh, we have a good potential, you know, it's too early. Uh, we didn't manage to, to test uh, different things in the car. Uh, some parts are arriving for this test and, uh, yeah, we, we just have no time enough to, to explore how the car is at the moment. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's a bit tricky, but uh, we need to deal with that. We need to do our best and uh, try to be ready for the first race. So, Valtteri, uh, another good day in the car, plenty of reliability in that, Williams. What did you learn today that you hadn't learned last week? We learned a lot. We actually did plenty of aero work in the morning, so we got some good data. Uh, we'll keep the guys <laughs> busy enough, I think, tonight. Um, then, yeah, actually some, some setup work, uh, which we didn't do much last week, so finally started to do some uh, fine-tuning with the setup. Still a lot of things to do, a lot of things we can do do better but you know I mean the car runs very well the whole day no problems at all so that's always nice nice to see compared to a year ago in the car you were driving then it must feel pretty good out there yeah it feels feel, feels good I mean uh, we still we, we never know what what the others are doing and uh, it's just testing I think uh, like last year proved uh, that we we need to wait for the first race I mean to see where we are but uh, it Overall, very positive feeling in the team and uh, good mood. That said, though, there are only three days of testing left and some teams are struggling at the moment to even try and get a long run in. So you must be feeling fairly confident going to Australia. What would your target be for that race? Yeah, I really think you know the whole team has done a very good job to make a reliable car and it's a good quality car. So And that will be important in the first few races. So I do expect, I mean, if you finish the first few races, you should get some good points and uh, yeah that should be our target took a little while until we got uh, uh, the car together uh, small small problems here and there uh, with the electronics but then fine and uh, ready to go 
So most important was to uh, finally run on a soft and super soft, so to have all the range of tires um, tested, which was quite interesting. Um, and uh, then in the afternoon, the long runs, uh, the race simulation, which we could almost uh, cover complete. Um, 19 laps in a row without problems. So 89 laps in total, quite okay. Yes, we're doing progress. Were you able to do any setup work or was it just a case of getting the long run in today in the race simulation and then maybe some setup work in your next day? A little bit setup work, yeah. Of course, we need to start finally to, to work also on that because we missed a little bit uh, yeah, a few days or especially one day uh, at the last test here in Bahrain. Um, yeah, but we kind of uh, pushed all, uh, squeezed in everything we could do in the program with starts, with race simulations, safety car modes, so everything we could uh, we could test and uh, yeah, we were, in these terms uh, we were quite successful today. You've got one day left in the car, what do you still want to learn? What's pressing on your mind? Um, learning is uh, at the moment learning by doing. You have to just uh, drive and um, hopefully work with the car as much as possible. Um, don't be too much interrupted by technical issues, but also having said that, it's good to have the technical issues right now and then probably to fix it for Melbourne. Anyway, um, there's always a lot to do, I think, um, just from the, from the chassis side, yeah, um, to find the right balance, you tweak it. This is the fine tuning we are looking, uh, um, uh, not yet fine-tuning but if you are in this area you, you are already comfortable for the race and that's our target at the moment to um, to make the package all complete to be kind of ready in Melbourne. Just finally from me we've spoken to one driver who said that if you can finish the race in Melbourne you'll probably be able to get some good points the way things are looking at the moment would you agree do you think? I think so yes looking through the field we're gonna have a exciting first race um, so uh, yeah I think the target for almost everyone is to finish a race with the amount of fuel and no, no issues. I agree, you should score some points in that way. So that's it for day one here at the final test in Bahrain and the general consensus in the paddock seems to be finish in Melbourne and you'll be in the points. Such are the reliability issues facing some of these teams. They now have just three days of testing left. We'll be back for day two with live updates on Sky Sports News and a full roundup on Sky Sports F1 at 9pm.